Oh, I didn't see you come in. You want to know about the Black Death? Gosh, where do I begin? Bring out your dead! Bring out your dead! Bring out your dead! So the Black Death, also known as the Bubonic Plague, took place in Europe around the mid 1300s. Over 50 million people died from the Black Plague uh, all over Europe. Uh, it was uh, one of the darkest periods in human history. The people at this time were at a complete loss as to what this could be. In the medieval times, uh, people did not understand what was the cause of the uh, Black Death or the Bubonic Plague, but uh, most of the population uh, thought it was brought on by God. In the East, it was believed that God would cast sickness on individual sinners. But in the West, it was thought that God inflicted the population with the plague to pay for society's sinfulness. Around this time, people called the flagellants started to make their presence known. These people were trying to win the favor of God by self-inflicted wounds. They would actually walk the streets and whip themselves. Ouch! Their belief was that it was the fury of God upon an errant people. So another popular belief at the time was that the plague was caused by Jewish people. So the people believed that the Jews poisoned the drinking wells with the plague. In medieval times, many owed money to Jewish business owners. The Catholic Church dealt with this debt by targeting Jews. The Jewish people were burned at the stake. Ouch! So the people of the medieval ages never figured out what caused the plague and how to cure it. Eventually the disease disappeared, but not before claiming millions and millions of lives. Fun fact, a genetic disease called cystic fibrosis, which was around during the plague, is theorized to have made the carrier immune. It causes a buildup of mucus in the lungs, which in the dark ages would have been helpful. But today it causes violent coughing in the patients who have it. If the bubonic plague were to happen, I would be immune because I have cystic fibrosis. <coughs> Isn't that cool? <coughs> Ouch. In more recent times, we've come to believe that the Black Plague, the Black Death, was brought on by the fleas, which were carried by the rats. The idea is that there were bad conditions on trade ships. So there were many rats on board. These rats carried the bubonic plague. So when the fleas bit them, they would then carry the disease. Then the fleas would bite a person. Now the person has the disease. But the problem with that theory is that the plague spread fast, too fast, for it to have been spread by rat fleas. It would have always have to have gone from rat to flea to human very slow process. A new study shows that maybe rats had nothing to do with the spread of the plague. It seems that rats have been the victims of one of history's biggest framings. The new most plausible theory is that the plague was spread by human fleas. The bubonic plague being spread by human fleas is the most logical cause for the Black Death. Something not many people know is that we still have samples of the Black Plague for scientific studies, but the U.S. military has admitted misplacing some infectious samples. It's like when you say, damn, I lost my keys, but the military is saying, oops, lost the plague. So that's comforting. If you know what I mean, we, oui, César.